Hey guys, it's me, Sharika Sanders. Okay, so um, first things first, I'm using this microphone only to showcase it to do a review on it. I picked it up from Walmart. It is freaking amazing. It is its own karaoke machine. It is by the Pop Solo brand. There are speakers on both sides. I don't need to talk into the microphone anymore. Power on. Okay, as you can see the buttons, this turns it on. This, it turns the mic on. Volume buttons, echo. You can connect it, Bluetooth to just about any device. It'll play the music through here. You can sing your hard way, la la la. So these were, right now they're about a dollar at Walmart, between a dollar and eleven dollars. I found mine for four dollars. My mother-in-law came and she found one for seven dollars and we went back and got the four dollar one and then I saw them again at another Walmart for three dollars but people on Instagram are showing it as a dollar. I'm making a mess. So that's great. There it goes. Okay guys. So, I don't know if you guys remember, but the flat iron that I have always used for years has been the my Her Styler one. This one right here. Her Styler. Well, randomly the other day while flat ironing my daughter's hair, it decided to completely and utterly die. There's a short in the cord and if you hold it, but if you hold it a certain way, it works. Right now, it's sitting in my sink, heating up, because right after I do this video, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the, um, like, go ahead and flat iron my hair. Now, um, if you are wondering, the hair that I am wearing is, yet again, some of my favorite synthetic beauty supply store hair is the Altre Brazilian Bundle Wave. I, well, I think this one is the Russian Bundle Wave. They have different kinds. It's like a Brazilian Bundle Wave, Russian Bundle Wave, um, Malaysian Bundle Wave, Peruvian Bundle Wave. You can buy them individually. Typically, they come waved up in different curl patterns. But I flat iron this hair. And actually, I reuse this hair. I made it on a U-Part wig, I think the last video that I was in maybe third to last video is in. And I said, you know what? I want to do a quick hairstyle. So I took it off of there, glued it in my head because I had somewhere to be, and I wanted just a quick, easy hairstyle. So I did that, and I love it. And then a couple days later, I flat ironed it, gave me a whole new foot hairstyle. Um, it seems to me the older this hair gets, the more realistic it looks. Now, does it tangle? Absolutely. You just saw me brushing it. Doing like this, doing like this, you know, blah, 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 blah. I did all of that. Now, let's pull it to the front. Boom. It's tangled on this side already. You see what I mean? So, but it's a quick, easy brush out. Um, You can also add just a little bit of water and it'll be cool. So, do I recommend this hair for sewing? Sure, if you're going to put the work into it. At night, you need to completely brush it out. Put your leave out, separate it like I have done. That's the cap under there, if you're wondering. No, actually, that's my scalp. <laughs> so, take it, and I, when I actually take care of this hair, because usually I don't, I have not wrapped this hair up since I've had it in my head. Wrap it up. However way you choose to, two ponytails, whatever, whatever. Put it like this. Put it under a bonnet or a scarf. The next day, pull it down. It might have a slight wave to it. That'll help you keep the curls if you can. If you have, if you want to keep the curls, or if you want to keep it straight. If you do a glue in or a sew in, wrap it like the old school wrap, like they used to do when they used to sit us under the dryer <laughs> and leave us under there because they completely forgot about us. Yeah, you could do that. Now, as far as the hair color that I used um, to match this, because this color was, I think, uh, called like a DE, 
No, it wasn't DE because DE means dip dance. It was something 530 or something. Not the 99J because the 99J has more of a purple hue to it. This is more of a burgundy. I don't know if it's reading on camera because I'm recording on my phone. And so I used the Wella burgundy, not the deep burgundy, just the burgundy one. And it gave me literally the same exact color. Now, is that going to work on your hair? I don't know. It depends on what color your hair. My hair is naturally kind of a brown. It's not completely black. So use it at your own discretion. I'm going to see if I can get a little bit more. Nope, if I do that, the fan will come on. Anywho, um, so next I wanted to show you guys this hair. I only got one bundle. Why? Because I honestly thought it was a Sam Moore scheme because there's no way, right, you're going to get hair this cheap. Well, I got this hair from Hair, from the, hair for the Low dot com and they were offering 22 inches 22 inch bundles for $22 18 inches for $18 and so on and so forth however long it was um, uh, that's how much you were going to pay for that bundle I think they were um, 100 gram bundles and uh, I got the first one that I ordered I grabbed the 100% human hair straight. It came a little way, but that's probably only because of the way it was in the package. And it looked like it had probably been in there kind of like that. And that will create a wave in shipping. I ordered this hair on a Friday. I got this hair on a Monday. No exaggeration. It smells nice, smells clean. I can run my fingers through it. Is the bundle thin? Yes. But when you go to those longer lengths, typically you get um, less, like longer lengths, you get more length. So the longer you go this way, the shorter you go this way. So like I remember back in the day when we used to get those 10 inch bundles from the beauty supply store, you could do like three hairstyles with them if you really <laughs> stretch it. I'm exaggerating more like two. But that's because that hair was like, yeah, it was really short. So, you know, but this hair is amazing. It smells great. You can tell that it's natural. Um, I have washed it. I know I put it back in the same um, bundle so you guys can see. I washed it while, you know, still wrapped up because I wanted it. I wanted to see how it reacted. It was fine. Put it right back in the package to show you guys. It smells fine. Um, the ends, wonderful to me. And does it have, like when you go like this, does it have some broken ends on it? Yes. But I like hair like that because it looks more natural. Because I don't know very many people that have like hair like this that has no hair sticking out at all not even a little bit um the wefts are great nice and thick I'm not sure if you can see that um the beards are amazing as well not real long you could see you know my nail is pushing them up right there not bad at all not bad at all I see some red in there, like uh, this person, the donor that they got it from had reds and browns in their hair. I don't see any gray hairs at all. Um, yeah, this is really good hair. So, like I said, I bought one experimental bundle because I wanted to see how it was going to go. And from what I've seen thus far, it is true to length. Because this is supposed to be 20 inches, um, 22 inches, and look at that, it's coming just a tad bit longer. So it's, it seems to be true to length. You know, typically synthetic hair is true to length, um, but human hair, give or take an inch or so. 
definitely go check them out. Now, looking at how much hair you get, I would say you would need about four bundles and a frontal or uh, five and a half bundles and a closure if you're going to do all 22. Now, if you're going to stagger them, you could probably get away with a 22, 20, 18 if you're going to use a frontal and a or a 22, 20, 18, 18 or 18, 16 if you're going to do a closure. Or if you're just going to have your own hair out, it depends on how big your leave out is. If you have leave out about as much as I have, um, you probably can get away with three to four bundles depending on your spacing and whatnot. Um, for a more natural look, you could probably do um, three provided you're not doing all 22s and you know after about 18 inches you're going to need kind of double like you need two of these in my opinion to match one this long of the 18 only because that's just how the hair industry goes they go by weight um from what i'm feeling it feels like about how much of the natural um, length, not natural length, the natural, um, uh, how it feels when you get human hair bundles. I like the simple packaging because it keeps it cheap. And they just, you know, put it in here and then they put the rubber band on it so it doesn't move. Boom. Easy, simple. I like cute packaging, but I also like simple packaging that keeps my out-of-pocket cheap. So definitely, I found them through Beauty Can Braid on Instagram and on YouTube. I've been watching her for a while now. She's definitely somebody to follow. That girl can braid her butt off. Um, and she promotes businesses, black businesses, and she has contests galore. So definitely go check her out. Um, shout out to her. She's in Tampa, so maybe one day when I'm in Tampa, I'll you know hit her up or whatnot but right now i am getting ready to go ahead and flat iron um my hair um to go with this uh hair that i have in my head and hopefully my good flat iron does not die i'm going to show you what heat protectant i'm going to use and just so you guys know I am a licensed cosmetologist, you know, just because I'm not in the shop does not mean I don't remember everything that I was taught in school. Yes, I know you're supposed to do certain things. Yes, I realize that a lot of the methods that I use are not conventional. Got that, understand that. But sometimes either I'm being lazy or I go with what works for me. Like right now on my sink, I have glue... I have the heat protectant, I've got the got to be, I've got the edge control, I've got all types of crap that is not salon products. You don't necessarily always have to use the salon products. But anywho, this is what I'm using. You can pretty you I think you can get this at any beauty supply store and some Walgreens. But I love the organic line, the organic root line. Great. It has helped my hair bounce back. I am 100. Well, you can't say 100% natural because I do have a color in my hair. And I am straightening my hair. But I am natural. I do not put any relaxer in my hair. I only do... Um, oh, that flat iron is so much better. <laughs> than the beauty supply store one that I have bought. Oh, it's flat ironing my hair so much better. I'm going to be an ally burn myself. I'm going to be able to keep this hair in for a little bit longer since. Only thing I don't like is it seems like when I flat iron my hair um, since going natural, it like strips some of the color out of it. And that really gets on my nerves. So, you see how straight that is? And you see, you can visibly see that the color is different now from there to there. Wow. 
<laughs> wow, wow, wow. Look. Wow. It happens to me every flip-flop in time. Every time. <sighs> well, I'm going to flat iron as much as I can. Um, I really just wanted to tell you guys about those few things. And uh, tell you that uh, my contest for... My referral contest is still going. I do not have, so far, I've had a couple people contact me saying that they entered and that they did what uh, I asked them to do. Um, however, the companies themselves are not saying that um, anybody has done anything towards what I, what, you know, what you were supposed to do. So what I'm suggesting is if you can send me like some sort of proof that you signed up. I have no idea what that would be, but just send me some sort of proof so I can contact the company and say, hey, you know, this person signed up under my referral link, but they're not getting any, you know, recognition as signing up under my link you know let's fix that let's get that taken care of oh so amazing so oh, there's nothing like a good flat iron y'all just don't know i was struggling <laughs> with that other flat iron because that other flat iron who i need to clip my hands to might do that off camera i don't usually flat iron my hair so, we're going to leave this that won't really be shown. Oh, well, let's go ahead because that can be done quick, fast, and in a hurry. I wasn't planning on you guys seeing all of this. I was just going to... Man, that went straight into my ear because I'm trying to rush. I was really just planning on showing you guys the Pop Solo. Telling you about hair for the low. Telling you how... This hair in my head is freaking amazing. And I'm pretty sure hair for the low is going to be even better. I love, you know, human hair. But I don't mind the synthetic hair, you know, sometimes. Simply because it's cheap. You can get it already colored. And you don't have to worry about, you know, coloring it. You know, I, I, that's one of my favorite things to do concerning hair is the color. However, karma, it is a tedious freaking process. Let me tell you. Oh, I didn't need that second pass. I'm just being greedy. Especially since it's going ahead and working now. <laughs> Y'all just don't know how many times I like prayed and tried to get that thing to work and every now and again it works so I refuse to throw it away plus I know I'm going to happen across somebody that knows how to fix it looks like this is going to be like a 20 minute video sorry about that some people like long videos I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a thumbs down because you're going to get those people who don't like long videos burnt the heck out of my forehead Sharika, how are you a professional and you still work yourself? Well, stuff happens when you rush. And stuff happens, period. You don't think your favorite, you know, YouTuber or whatever ain't burnt themselves sometimes? I know Muffins has. I know Atia has. Shoot, I know Thomas has. Thomas Adriana. I know Ivy has. And she's a professional hairstylist. I know all of them have. So, stop. <laughs> Leave me alone. <sighs> I did not get close to the root on that one. I will, though. I will. Trying to rush so this ain't no 30 minute video. Yes, yes, it's sizzling, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I do realize it's sizzling. Hair's gonna sizzle. If you're gonna put heat protectant on there, please explain to me when you put 
a wet pot on the stove, how you think it's not going to sizzle? It's going to sizzle. Water and heat don't mix. And what do you think heat protecting is? It's got some liquid in it. So, got all of that flat iron. Crazy thing is, flat ironed all of this. Give it a couple hours. If I don't tie it up, this crap is going to be messed up again. So, here's the preliminary. I'm not going to have time to do edges or whatever. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning. Just trying to prepare for tomorrow. All right, guys. Love ya. And, uh, you know what? I've got a few extra minutes. Let's go ahead and make this look right. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Let's get my trusty toothbrush <laughs> that I've been using. Oh, the light is still on. Let's turn this beauty supply store one off. The beauty supply store one that I got for like $9.99. Turn that off. I'm going to use that for my edges. Only because I like the smell of it. It's not a, I don't know. It says it's got honey in it. Maybe that's what I like the smell of. Only doing that. I don't do a whole lot of baby hairs. I don't see my brush. My actual brush must be in there. My sons like to steal it. And I don't really know why, but this time when I colored my hair with the same stuff that I've been coloring it with for almost a decade, my edges right here got thin. I do know that I did not use any protectant whatsoever on it. So that could be why. So there's my hair. Blends amazingly with this hair. I look <laughs> like I don't have no hair right there in the front. Let's do that. There we go. I don't know. I've been doing this side part for years. I might move to a middle part. Actually, the next sewing I'm doing, I am not leaving any hair out because I want my hair to rehab or whatnot. All right. We're at 23 minutes. There's Yeah, my edges are <laughs> crying out, and I uh, have never used the wax stick or anything like that. All the weave is covered. All right, guys. I'm going to tie this up. Talk to you guys later.